All right, today I want to talk about my RV control system. It's this seven inch screen that's right inside the door. Um, if I bring up the details for the mobile app, it's called a Mira, um, Mira Vega Touch. And so I want to go through everything. It's just kind of amazing how complicated this is. So these are my controls for my gas, black water, gray, and fresh. And my tanks need cleaned. Um, good way to clean them, I guess, is to put a bag of ice in them with some detergent. And they'll clean the sensors off. But all my tanks are empty at this point. Um, this shows the lights that are on. And a master switch to turn everything off or turn everything on. Um, the temperature in the front and the back of the coach turn on the water heater the electric water heater what my batteries are and what my chassis batteries are so this one's for the engine and this one's for the house um, automatic generator start I don't have that enabled or I could push here and start my generator um, the second screen shows all about the automatic generator start whether it starts at 12 volts runs for 15 minutes um, Low watts, uh, HVAC load could trigger it to come on. Uh, quiet time, where it won't run during the quiet time. It stops when the batteries get up to 13.5 volt. F tries to restart five times. Um, I essentially have solar and don't really use the generator very much. So I've never really used this page at all. Um, here's a panel to control all the lights. You turn them on and off. Um, the porch light, the awning light, living room main, etc., etc., and then the master switch will turn everything on or everything off, which is really pretty darn cool. The temperature, you can turn the AC on here, you can turn the heat on, you can turn the vent fan in the bathroom on, you can turn the furnace on, run the heat pump. Um, it's another way to heat the coach if it's cold, the heat pump or the furnace. And then this is the panel that extends my patio slide, my kitchen slide, my dinette slide, and my bed slide. Um, so I have three slides. It's called a 37TS for triple slide. And then the awning in and out. So that's pretty self-explanatory and easy. And then on this page, it shows temperature, floor plan, the date and time, um, the screen brightness, and then if I go, we looked at the mobile app to set that up and or to the network diagnostic you can see what's currently on, what's running, what the firmware is, the date and time. So that's my control panel. It's pretty complicated, it's pretty detailed and in the same vein it's pretty neat to be able to control everything from here. Um, I think next I'm going to install the mobile app and we'll take a look at how that works. Okay, I just went to the App Store and I downloaded the Vega Touch Mira app and I hit scan and it came up with my 182645 and it says it wants to connect and I'm going to put a 112233 and authenticate and then we'll just see what this app has, what I can do with it. Attempting connection. Oh, hopefully I can it looks like I can control this alright well this is pretty darn cool it's the Vega Mira app it took me a second to get connected I had to turn on Bluetooth and I had to pair it and unpair it twice but Anyway, just from the phone, I control the lights and it's turning them on and off just like that. Uh, four buttons down here at the bottom. Main for lights and fans. Water pump, heater, and gas, basically what's on this screen. I can go to the next screen and it talks about the lights independently. Um, I can go over here to temperature for the front and the rear. I can turn on temperature, fan, furnace, 
um, things like that. This is the bath fan. I just turned it on. Go over here to my slides, and it says really be cautious when you use your slides. And then I can put the awning in and out, and I can control the slides in and out. So that's actually really pretty cool. Um, glad I just installed the app. And once again, when you go onto this main screen, you go down to the bottom mobile app, it'll tell you what your device is and what numbers you need to put in to get the app to work. So I hope that helps. I hope uh, this is informative on the way this Vega Mira touch system works. And if you have any questions, uh, put them below. Like, share, subscribe, and tell your mom. Thanks for watching.